Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates. I recently showed you guys what I spend in a week as a 24 year old living in Los Angeles. And this week I'm back exposing my spending from a recent week long trip to New York City. I frequently show my travels on this channel, but most of my trips over the past year have actually been free as a result of partnering with a bunch of tourism boards, hotels, and travel planning companies. However, this was not one of those trips. So let's go ahead and see what I spent. This week I'm gonna show you everything I spent in New York City over the past seven days. I've never spent a full week in New York and I kind of split it into like two separate trips in a way. The first half, was with some of my college friends, and then the second half I met up with a bunch of my YouTube friends, um, and there's vlogs from all of this over my vlog channel before I got deathly sick, and then vlogmas stopped. Whoops, what can you do? So we crammed a lot into this week, and I guess just a quick thing I wanted to say up front, because if I were seeing this video of just this one week and everything I spent in New York, I would be thinking, Morgan, you're crazy girlfriend. What is with that? You're traveling all the time, and you spend money like this? And I just wanna say no. Why I actually wanted to film this video for this week in New York is because most of, I would say probably 80 plus percent of my trips over the past year that I've gone on that you guys have seen have been either completely for free, like most parts were free, or they were entirely covered by a brand and I was being paid working with that brand to be there. So every time you've seen me on a trip doesn't mean I have been dishing out the money for it, if that makes sense. So that's why I wanted to film this video for this week in New York when that wasn't the case, as well as just to explain that since I do get so many travel opportunities for free, it kind of does allow me to loosen up and spend a little more when it's like my own vacation, if that makes sense. Yeah, you'll see, we did some bougie things, I will say. <laughs> it would not be sustainable for me to spend this on every single trip I go on, so don't even worry about it. That's not what's happening. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are new, I would love if you would subscribe. This video is also in partnership with Express, so I'm gonna show you a few things I got from there as I was packing, and let's just go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna break this down day by day, but first I'm gonna give the two big like transportation costs, I guess, kind of flight and hotel, or the two big like spanning the entire week costs that I wanna get out of the way up front. So first of all, for my flight, I was flying from LAX, to JFK, long flight, lots of demand for that flight. But as I touched on on my vlog channel, probably a couple of weeks, one or two weeks before the trip, I actually went in and it, it prompted me how much it would cost to upgrade this flight to first class, which is not something I often do really ever. Every now and then Delta will upgrade me because of my status, but it's not often, if ever, that I pay to upgrade my seat to first class. However, if you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs, you know, actually I haven't even fully showed, but it's just been a whirlwind of a past couple months. So I was like, two weeks out from this trip and I was like, you know what? This is gonna be my Christmas present to myself. That flight ended up being $1,009.35. Secondly, in the hotel or like where I'm staying category of things, I actually spent $0 on this. The first half of my trip spent with my college friends. I was staying with my friend Catherine who lives in the Chelsea area of New York. So I didn't pay anything to stay with her as well as the second half of the trip with my YouTube friends. We we're actually working with Hyatt who doesn't even know the ring mentioned in this video, but they put us up for free in a hotel near Times Square in exchange for like a post and Instagram story. It was a super casual arrangement. We weren't getting paid for any of that, but we were saving probably like four to $600 per person on a hotel, which was really awesome. And again, since we were saving that money on the hotel, that did also make it a little easier for me to spend more on the flight as well. So those two big expenses out of the way, it was time to head to New York. And as I mentioned, Express is sponsoring this video. So I'm gonna show you a few things I packed as I was getting ready to go there. Cause I had to buy coats for this trip. So really quick, I'm gonna show you some winter stables I picked up from there that saved my cold butt when I was in New York. First up, I went a little crazy with the jackets. <laughs> These are extremely good quality. They are a bit expensive, but everything here I got discounted quite nicely. So first up, we just have this little like camel colored trench coat jacket with these big pockets. I like that these buttons are actually concealed. So it's like a nice clean look. I just thought this would be really cute for New York. I don't know if it's like a middle of winter coat. I need to wear it around. I'm so bad at it, knowing my coats, you guys. Second, I thought I'd go full bougie and get this white um, faux, obviously all of these are faux fur, um, little coat for like a nice dinner or something. So we just have a little collar going on. It's so soft. And then lastly, my favorite one, I'm obsessed with this one. It's a longer one as well. It's about knee length on me and it's this furry black coat. So yeah, very happy with this. And then it just has one button right here and then it has pockets also that are a little bit concealed. And then lastly, three other things. I, three, four, great count. First up are these adorable booties. I've been wearing nonstop a pair of like sock booties this season, but I thought that having like a more heavy duty, like walkable booty um, for like hiking around the city all day uh, would be a good decision. These just slide on or like a heeled Chelsea boot type thing and then next just a basic little black long sleeve top because I have lots of black like dressy tops but for like a dinner or something in New York I don't have anything this long sleeve it's a good like shorter length in the front so it'll do like a really easy like French tuck into the front of some pants without like being a ton of fabric you're stuffing in there and then slightly longer on the back next I'll say this till the day I die I am obsessed with express blazers 
So I thought, what better time to get red than during the holidays? I picture this with like a high neck, like black top or something. Probably wear that at some point. Um, maybe to see the Rockettes, TBD. Oh, well, no, I don't wanna look like I'm conducting the musical, just kidding. And then lastly, I won't wear this in New York, but I'm gonna wear this back home in North Carolina where I'm going right after. I just thought this was a cute, festive, little black holiday dress for a holiday party. Of course, wearing it with tights. There's just like a little metallic, little fun print going on here. And then yeah, it comes in at the waist, a little tie. And I think it's so cute. All those items will be linked below. You might still be able to get them at 50% off when this video goes up. I'm not sure if that sale is still going on, but let's go ahead and hop into Thursday spending. We're gonna breeze through these because it was just a travel day. Bright and early, 4 a.m. My Uber was $19.14 to get from my house to LAX. It's pretty standard. And then once I got to LAX, since my ticket was first class, I decided that instead of buying breakfast at Starbucks or something like that like I normally do, I would just go into the Delta Lounge since I could get in for free. So in there I made some oatmeal, got like some coffee and water, as well as once I boarded my flight they served us breakfast in flight there as well so I spent no money at LAX or on the flight as well as even my bag fees again I think since it was first class it would have been free regardless but it's always free for me because of it's either my credit card or because of my sky mile status upon getting into JFK my ride from the airport to my friend's house. It was probably like 3 p.m. It took an hour and a half. Traffic is insane. People wanna talk about LA traffic. Let's talk about New York traffic, am I right? I spent $105.87 on that car getting into New York. This is where it would have been really beneficial to be traveling with someone. So I met up with Catherine and my college friends and then that evening we just went to dinner at a place called Rowie's that my friend Catherine really likes. And we each had one or two drinks there, I can't remember, as well as I got this salmon entree for dinner and mine ended up being $55 after tax and tip. And then from there we went over to a Christmassy bar that wasn't too far away. It was decorated beautifully with like these super festive ceilings and everything. But at the end of the day, it was kind of just like a random dive bar. So I spent $9 on a beer for me and a friend, which I feel like was pretty cheap for New York. So that brings Thursday's grand total to $189.07. Jumping into Friday that morning, Catherine just made us breakfast at the house and then we whipped through a Starbucks where I spent $4.36. From there, we went to the dry bar where I paid $61.21. Their prices have gone up, I've noticed. Yeah, that's just always a fun like relaxing experience. And then from there, we went to lunch at a place right across the street where I spent $30 on a Bellini and on this like BLT salad ordeal. $30 it was. <laughs> Later in the evening, I departed from my friends to go meet up with some other friends from a Greece trip a few years ago. So I spent $14.88 on my own for the Uber to get there. And then we had this delicious dinner at this Mediterranean place where it came down to be $46 a person. I believe I got a Moscow mule and then I got some kind of like grain bowl veggie thing. It was really good. And then after that, the group wanted to go to a karaoke bar so we rented out like a private karaoke room and each got a drink there and then I went to another bar with a friend Casey you'll have to forgive me I don't remember the names of everywhere we went where I got a drink there with her and her husband and in total for all of those like out experiences in the karaoke room I spent $46 on that then my uber back to Catherine's house was $19.28 my total for that day was $221.73 next for Saturday day three again we just had breakfast at the house and then right here I'm gonna include kind of a grand total for uber and subway charges that I was splitting with my friend Catherine. Um, she just kind of Venmo charged me at the end of the weekend for all of it in total, so I'm not sure how much everything evened out to be. At this point during the day, we were hopping around to a lot of different apartments for SantaCon, if you guys know what that is. So in total for the whole weekend, my portion was $40.23. We took a lot of Ubers and a lot of subways, but a good amount of that did come into play here. So that entire day was just bouncing around, seeing a bunch of friends, doing kind of like an apartment crawl situation up until dinner, and I had a little pita pizza thing that ended up being $19. And then from there, they all kept going out to bars, and then I decided to go back to the apartment like the grandma I am. So I spent $14.87 on that Uber back to Catherine's place. Later on, I had plans to meet up with another college roommate who I haven't seen in a while. And that Uber cost me $20.43 to get to the Soho area from Chelsea. We were going to a really cute like rooftop bar. And there I spent $15.24 on, technically it was the price of one drink. I went to buy mine and hers, but the bartender kept us waiting for so long that he ended up giving us one of them for free. And after that, I Ubered home, which cost $18.26. So my total for Saturday was $128 and 12 cents. You're noticing, I'm spending a lot. <laughs> Sunday morning, we decided to have a chill day in Brooklyn. It was my last morning with my college friends. So that morning we took an Uber into Brooklyn, which is already included in yesterday's Uber charge. We got brunch there with a bunch of other college friends at a really cute spot that was $25 for my portion. After that, we walked around Brooklyn for a while. We ended up going to the Brooklyn Bridge and taking some photos. And then one of our friends who has a car there ended up driving us back into the city where I then packed up my things because it was time to switch over to like my YouTube friend leg of the trip. So that Uber to get from Catherine 
Catherine's house to the hotel I'd be staying at with them was $19.39. Then I checked into the hotel, which I mentioned we were not paying for, so there was no cost associated with that. And then I did a really quick get ready because that night we were going to see the Rockettes, which I'd actually never been to. So we had a really quick dinner at like a random hotel bar that we passed on the way as we were like sprinting to get to the show. And it was it was a bit of a nice place and it was at a hotel, which I feel like always has a bit of a markup associated. So I ended up spending $49 for my portion, which was part of a cheese board that we all shared, as well as my meal, which was like a little scallop entree and then splitting a bottle of champagne with Brooke and Danielle. And then the Rockettes, not a cheap event to go to at Radio City Music Hall, but it's definitely an iconic Christmas thing to do at some point in your life. My ticket for that was $125 to be on like the, not the tip top, but like the next to top <laughs> mezzanine level. My total spending for Sunday was $218.39. Monday, first day with all of the YouTube gang. For breakfast that morning, there was a Starbucks right across from our hotel. So I spent $9.80 on a coffee and a bacon egg Gouda sandwich. And then we all went back to the dry bar and spent $61.21 again on my blowout. And then we walked over to Bryant Park where we had free tickets to go ice skating there. Brooke and I ended up not doing it. We just kind of stayed stayed warm, but the other gals ice skated. And then after that, we got a quick lunch at a place called La Pond, however you say the last part that starts with the Q, which cost $25.77. That was for a hot oat milk latte. And then I believe I got some chicken noodle soup or something. And then we had like a bread basket. And then we took an Uber down to Soho where we were gonna shop for a little bit. At this point, it was great because we were getting Uber XLs because there were five of us in total, but we were splitting them all five ways. So this one came down to be at $6.44. I didn't really shop for anything. I just kind of bopped around with the other gals. I ended up spending $19.49 on a pair of earrings from Zara, as well as a pair of like, black tights from H&M because I don't have a pair of tights somehow. So I needed to get that because I thought I might be wearing a dress that night. A few hours later, we Ubered back from Soho to the hotel, which cost $7.23 for my portion. We did a quick get ready for dinner and then I paid $8.10 for our Uber back out to dinner, which was going to be at Ketch. Um, and not even just Ketch, Ketch Steak, their new steakhouse. That dinner, I had, I believe, two cocktails there. Their drinks are expensive to start with. Like they're literally like $20 per drink. And then it's designed to be like shared plates. So we got a few different steak items, a few like sides and veggies so my portion came down to be $88 which is actually a little bit less than I was expecting it to be but it was a bomb meal and then our Uber back to the hotel was $5.28. All the gals were tired except me and Danielle <laughs> so we actually went up to at our hotel there's a really cool rooftop bar so we went up there and each got some champagne and spent $36 on that bringing my total for Monday to $267.32. Next day Tuesday that morning I actually met up with my mom and sisters who were also in New York at the time so we just met up near the Rockefeller Center at the little bakery that we've been going to for forever called Bouchon um, to get a quick little breakfast. My mom paid for the breakfast there, which was nice. I walked back to the hotel, got ready quickly, and then me and all the gals set out for basically the whole day of like events we had scheduled back to back. First, I'm not one for designer shopping. I own no designer bags. I own like no designer jewelry, except for now, I guess. But I spent $9.08 on an Uber from our hotel to the Dior store. So basically the day before, Every, we'd been shopping on shopping on Fifth Avenue. I had been shopping. Long story short, the day before, Keaton had bought this bracelet from Dior, and then within like the hours following, everyone decided that they wanted it as like a cute little friendship bracelet. I don't really have any bracelets that I ever wear, which is why I was kind of on board for this, I guess. This bracelet from Dior ended up being $457.28, and then rushed over to the Plaza Hotel where we had a tea time reservation. And again, long story short, we were just having an experience with the service there <laughs> where they they like refused to wait on us for like literally like 30 minutes, whatever. We were being treated rudely. It, we were realizing at this point that like we needed to like be making moves or like this was not gonna end by the time that we had like planned to go to our next thing by. So we ended up just being like, this isn't worth it. This is a super expensive thing to do. So we ended up leaving the tea time, going downstairs at the plaza to their little food court. And I spent $15.19 on some sushi as like a like late lunch. And then we went down to NBC Studios at the Rockefeller Center because NBC actually gave us some free tickets to go see the late night with Seth Meyers show, which was so funny. So we really enjoyed that. And then following the show, I spent $7.22 on an Uber from Rockefeller Center down to Tao, where we would be getting dinner that night. I'd never been to Tao. I've seen the hype. Kinsey and I were so underwhelmed, like in literally every single way. Not to be negative, but I was like, I don't understand. I spent $81.36 to see what the hype was about. And then following dinner, I spent $5.28 on an Uber from the restaurant back to our hotel. So my total for that day, including this bracelet, was $575.41. Of course, with $450 that coming from this. And then last day, Wednesday, we did not have flight 
flights until evening, which turned into a crazy flight delay saga. But in the morning, we took an Uber from our hotel to brunch. We were meeting up with a bunch of our other YouTube friends, and I spent $7.45 on that Uber. On brunch itself at a place called Lafayette, I spent $27.49, and I had this like scrambled egg, truffles, something, another greens bowl, and then a cold brew. And from there, we ended up walking around Soho. I think some people did some light shopping, but really, we were just strolling and hanging out. And then Keaton and I split an Uber back to our hotel because our flights were the first ones out. So my portion of that Uber was $15.16. Then we did a quick like get ourselves together moment at the hotel to head to the airport. So thankfully we could split that Uber to the airport, but it still ended up being $47.74 for my half. Once at the airport for, I don't know, eight hours, it was literally we arrived during a snowstorm. It was just a train wreck of a situation. Really thought I was gonna be overnight in the airport. While I was there, I managed to spend $44.34 on my meal there. I got like a salad and some fries, you know, balance in a water bottle. And then as things began to look more and more bleak and I had like four hours until my scheduled flight, I ended up at this point paying to get into the Delta Lounge, which with my credit card, it gives me access, but you still have to pay $29. I went in there, I sat down, I got myself my free glass of wine and I sat there and until I had to go get on my flight. And then upon finally landing back in Greensboro, my sister picked me up from the airport, so I did not have to pay anything for an Uber or anything like that. So nice of her, it was 2 a.m. So, so for that day, I spent in total $171.18, bringing the grand total for this week in New York that again is unprecedented to $2,780.57. So again, this is not how I spend money every time I travel. This was my like big splurge at the end of the year, my like celebration of how much hard work I'd put into this year and how many like opportunities and deals I've been able to work on over the past, even just like past few months. And I had a really wonderful time spending quality time with so many of my friends. And I'm very thankful of course for you guys and to even be able to like work with a hotel and to be able to like do any of these things. I don't take that for granted. So thank you to you guys. That is what I spent in my week in New York. Leave me a comment below letting me know your dream travel destination. And I will see all of you guys in my next video.